Yell can just keep sending stuff at you, forcing you to use Enrage, forcing you to run out of mana, and you lose your combat ability. So it's very, it's very explosive. Ursa can kill PL if he's if the, his team catches him, but again, then we're back to square one. Who's going to do that? It's bad. So eyes on mind control in this game for sure. So Ursa, not really an assassin, more of a warrior, I would say. Yeah. What I his suppose. name in Dota One was Ursa Warrior. So That's true. Technically correct. Curious to see how this lane plays out as well. By the way, we didn't really. Like, Ursa against Doom is a, is generally considered a very Ursa-favorite matchup, but I think the Monkey King can be a little bit of an X-factor here. Oh, goodbye, Courier. Yeah. Okay, one tap. Box Tango leg, okay. pack gone. How many Tangos do they have now? Two on Taiga and two on Yuragi. So they can still stay afloat for a while up here. Yeah. Okay, look at Insania just... The lack of stuns from the supports of OG. Can they even gank mid <laughs> without another core no. coming? They just can't. Curry Feels like a waste. Has been yeah. I mean, maybe even just some sort of Icarus dive with spirits. Play. Sure. Oh, we got the blood grenade. A lot of slows coming in. Taiga taking a ton of damage. Has to pop the fairy fire, but he's going to get first blooded by oh, mid game no. of all heroes. If they both die here, he does die, he does die and my okay. total is going to live. So, not the worst. Uh, it makes Monkey King's life miserable. Oh, hang on. He's connected to mid. He's going to branch oh, to go. Oh, my God. What a play. Can he get the kill, though? Balance strike is there. Fairy fire keeps him afloat for the time being. One more right click will do it, but he eats the tree as well. Excuse me, what the oh hell was God. that? Okay, he ends up dying. That was an absolutely Radiant's sick play. I think attack. Nisha quilt the tree. What was it, Nisha? There's it was no not one. the elk. There was no cooldown. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's laughing his ass off. <laughs> Yo, can we get a replay on that? I yeah, want to see it again. I don't think Alec was in range. What a sick play by his teammate. <laughs> killing him. If that was actually what happened, that's hilarious. Danny getting burned to the ground. Uh, Taiga. Oh, yeah, that is, barely that might be enough distance. Yeah. Apparently it's not off cooldown at that point. Be a bit careful on Taiga, but again, it's a 1v2. But here comes the Phoenix from the other side. So Kitrak kind of backstabbing to some degree. In the 3v1, there's the dive. Mickey getting slowed perpetually. He's just dead. Ooh, well done. Nice pickup here from OG again. Save it for BZM, so at least he gets something out of that bottle now. MC in the bot lane. He's going to get pounced on. Sandy's in the area as well. As his low, oh, actually misses, I think. Is now mind control hooked up by Taiga. Going to potentially pursue Boxy. Sticky Napalm starting to stack up quite nicely. And Sania taking a lot of damage as well, but they're not going to go under tier one. M Probably not happening. Yeah, he is yeah, mega dead here. He's just resigned to his death. No way out for your rocket. Insania gets the kill. Nice. He's not playing Silencer, so no, no Glaive stacks this time. Nisha was looking for the 8-minute rune, but he's going to get found by BZM instead. Has the remnant up and attempting to pursue. Nice searing chains, though. MC wants to go high ground. Well, Nisha doesn't have Wait, he does. That's many stacks of Sticky Napalm, but that's the remnant is up. Concoction's coming. They will not stop until Nisha is dead. Concoction hits. Insania can only watch as his comrade dies, and he might be next on the list. And I can not able to get the slow, but it matters not. As the slappity slap from BZM is enough. Oh, nice dive. I thought I actually thought Nisha was gonna get, find a way out of that with uh, with two remnants, but they're just too fast. They have so much movement. Uh oh, oh. The triple double fake out yeah. into not using it. Well, maybe it wasn't a long enough stun to get the kill. I don't know. Radiant MC showing himself in the top lane now. Zai has the moose as of yet, so might not be that big of a delay. Jump back in. Doom so. applied to the Bat Rider. I don't know if they're going to clean him up, but Nisha has come. Daiga taking heavy damage. He's going to be the first to fall, but MC just shrugging off the Doom for the most part. And you can see the concoction proc by BZM. They want to fight. Insania. We get caught on the other side of the trees, but OG will not go any further. Considering the fact that Liquid attack. got both Wisdom runes, I'm very surprised to see their support levels. That fight started with a level 5 Maiden and a level 4 Monkey King. On the other side, it's a level 6 Wisp and 7 Phoenix. Yeah, because OG have just given more space, space to their supports to find those levels. Kitrick might have to ult here. Nice save. Not needed. Now fine, Nisha. And now he's in trouble. Yep, they do have last realm. Wants to get up the stacks first. There's three on him right now. Kitrax in the area with the egg. Remnant to the tier two. Is he actually going to get out? Oh my god. That was a millisecond away. If they. Heroes now. Yeah. Wonder if that. I wonder if that one's going to get you. That seems really strong to see an Octarine 
sub 15 minutes. <laughs> I, I could oh. foresee a change where you can't disassemble Vanguard again. Nisha, nice bounce. Wow. Three here. So Wukong's command to follow. Of course, it is. Well, yeah, no air gun against the right. They know that. Next, indeed, BZM with a concoction of the lasso now. Onto the Ember Spirit. Nisha's in a lot of trouble. Gets off the remnant, but dies shortly after. They lost the Doom as well. So, two for one advantage. OG, Boxy, behind the tree line, attempting to TP out. He's fine. Zygon so absolutely obliterated by the Ursa. Sandy is just going to get run down as well. Concoction in the acid spray. Double kill for BZM. And OG. Oh, starting to take good. a little bit of control of this game now. This could really start ramping up. They're not going to take their foot off the gas pedal here. Just keep going. MC. And of course, Mickey out of the jungle. Actually, looking for Foxy, or maybe not. Nah, maybe that's a little bit too crazy. This reaction you could probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, okay. BCM. Oh, oh. He's gonna get gone on. There's the doom, there's the lockdown, and there's the death. Oh, Mickey gets Liquid. the kill bounty. Really good for Liquid there. It's a thousand gold kill of which Mickey gets half. You really want this PL to continue. Oh, didn't even notice that Yoragi was doing Roche during this time. That looks to be... It's a goner. A freebie. The Liquid are somewhat close. They won't get there in time. Could be Aegis on the Ursa. Could have a nice little pick. Oh, this is going to be a big kill, though, and there is no way out. Last on to Zai, and the saddest thing about it, his Midas is off cool. Wait, can he use? He dies! Great usage, great efficiency from Zai, who dies a second later. But now he doesn't have to be in the fountain, dreading his decision. Speaking of fountain, hello. Oh, my. They're definitely better at using the gates than they are at picking up flowers. Yeah, that's fair. Concoction, initiation from BZM. It's gonna be okay. No lasso, though. Nisha. Remnant TP is spotted, but more luck. I'll make his courier die. And it has the bit booster, so he's already committed. He's uh he's choosing the heart for sure now. My guy is gonna take booster. the Wukong's command from Boxy. He's not really doing that much damage. Boxy overcharge. He's trying to link up to Ursa and he does successfully the PL gets demolished! Mickey just bursted from 100 to 0. And Insania looks to be next. OG just getting everything that they want. Blink Dagger online for the Ursa now. Boxy very difficult to find in the tree line. Radiance top tower is under attack. Oh no. But they do find him. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. TP. TP. No mana for Lasso. Yeah. yeah. See that every day. He has a Keep in mind, Mickey hasn't really done anything yet, right? Like, it's 22 minutes in. PL usually will need a bit more time, especially if his team is behind, to really reach critical mass. But it is going to happen eventually. Oh, they find the Monkey Boxing King on the just trees. He's getting, getting game. demolished left, right, and center. But Zai actually jumps and gets the Doom on the MC. Monkey King is dead. Now focusing on the Batrider. So he the Egg as well. And down with Batrider despite being linked up. And Zai, great initiation from him, BZM. Getting pretty low, that Spirit Vessel, but Yuragi now starting to work onto Nisha. Well, he might get that kill, but BZM getting chased by Mickey in the, in the meantime. Has absolutely no mana. Let's see. He has a dagger, though. Nisha actually staying alive from afar. Has to be careful, though. One Earthstrike might do it. He dodges it, though. And Mickey was there to help finish. I just saw that clip. Oh, yeah. That one would be hard to guess. There's an alchemist running up, concoctions and illusion, and a monkey king hold on absolutely <laughs> nothing, and everybody runs away. That is the pro tier. That is <laughs> the best Stay team yeah. in the world right Last there. Circled by MC. Down he goes. But I think the important thing for Liquid is that fight looked like it stabilized the game to some degree, yes. which is important when, especially when your doom is such a greedy build. Yes. I don't know that Lasso is down. Nisha's not too afraid of MC. Oh, surely the jump in here. by okay. the bear. Double damage. Yeah, Lasso is coming back up in 22 Maybe seconds, so they don't have that pure lockdown. Oh, Yuragi. Yuragi. He's all alone for the time being, but his team is on Relo. the way. Link up. There's the heart now online for the PL. BZM trying to focus down onto Zai. They're going to be able to kill him relatively fast, along with Boxy. So Nisha left his own devices, but. Relocate, baby. Away. Sania is spotted. Concoction just in time for BZM. Looked like Double it was going to be a good numbers fight for Liquid there. Understand why they're tempted to go on the Earth? End. Iraq going to be found. They're going to jump up. That's enough to 
be able to take it out before he can even get off the egg, but the instant doom, Zai's gonna die though. And you can see the Ursa trying to shrug it off to here. To watch the Taiga getting just gone on by Mikke. That's an easy kill. Yuragi forced to pop his ult. Not careful, he's gonna run out of mana here pretty shortly. Nisha, 30 half HP is insane. He's getting gone on by BZM instead. So it's a two for two to start this fight. Yuragi getting focused by Mikke. Fowler strike onto three heroes. Beautifully done. Nisha with the slide of fist, but now he's just gonna get bursted. Mikke still doing work. Triple kill for him. That's the one here that can't really deal with. BZM running out of mana along with MC. Another TP coming in. Remember, the egg has yet to be used, and Mikke will try to TP out. Yeah, he and burned the bomb to zero. Oh, they know yeah. it's happening, but they don't know how close it is. Still a little bit okay, he shows himself. Foxy! All right, he sacrifices his body for the betterment of okay. society. I don't know that. Maybe, Dead. maybe he was close to stealing that. That takes the risk. It was so far off. Yes. Rush was half health when he tried to steal it. So, well, is under attack. Radiance admire the effort, but that attack. was just not even close. Oh, Mickey. Oh, they're showing and the reload. Okay, he's gonna get killed and brought down. No. I know it's next. Absolutely oh, punished, despite having the Aegis. Radiance uh, he started chowing oh, right oh, oh, him. Oh, he gets gone. Are you serious? He has Aegis, of course, but he's gonna have to fight for a long ass time. Ayo's up in five seconds, so he's dead. He's already used the Enrage. Kid Rack has the egg available as well. Might have to try to expend it to save his banner, but no, he's dead. Liquid punishing the crap out of Odin as an agi hero anyway. I, don't, I think any combination of three heroes can't even kill him before he gets to doppelganger. I think Ursa out bad oh, can't do it. I kill this guy though. BM, indeed. <laughs> that works. That's one here that can kill, but there's the AOE Doom on the BZM. You can see Ursa actually jumps in, but that means he's doomed as well. My goodness. Yuragi pops the BKB. Trying to focus down Nisha, the Lincolns is already propped. A nice egg with the Sunray coming through as well. Boundless Strike out of several heroes though. Trying to focus down this Alchemist with that Mjolnir. He's running out of mana quickly. BZM trying to go on top of Mickey now. Pops that Doppelganger, Taiga. Getting pretty damn low as Mickey trying to take him out first. But it looks like they will finally get the PL. A three for one and all they lost was Io, surprisingly. Make it four. Nisha, the lone survivor. CM has already respawned of her own accord. Himself, effectively. If you can't kill him, just let him do the work for you. And OG will get minimum one lane of racks from him. Oh, they get the last one! This will be a huge kill! You can see the Emperor dropping. Nisha dead. No buyback. Whoa, is this game just over? It might be. If they, they, support, if they could see the buyback status, they might just end gold. In one minute. Happy. And yeah, they're gonna steal the Tormentor as well. Yeah, I think I think Insania probably a bit personally frustrated. This hasn't been his bit now. They're gonna smoke again. They have Lasso ready once again. The cooldown's so short. 40 second cooldown. Tanisha will remnant away. Uh, that's not gonna stop him. He's yeah, he's fine. Zion set. That's a juicy target as well. No buyback. And yeah. One full minute. No Zyback. Insania. Okay. Still. What do you do here? Keep sending in PL illusions, try to monitor the alt, I suppose. Yuragi actually already popped his ult, surprisingly. Oh. No, that, that was just the shard, right? Oh yeah, you're right. I didn't realize he had purchased it himself. Good to see. Do you feel like they should have different sound effects? I mean, it's literally an enrage, so no, I think that's part of the charm, that you don't know exactly sometimes. You pop it just as you earth shot. Middle tower. Oh, again. Oh, Ember Spear, but nice down the strike to keep him in play. He had the shield gonna look like Nisha. A half HP, but will get away. Mickey, you know, that's a bigger kill. 80 Holy. seconds, and that might just do it. I mean, nice he little very pink hat from the Phoenix. But he melted was... super fast. Mega creeps now for OG. Concoction from BZM. Pops that man to get out of those searing chains and now can focus on the tier four towers. That's attack speed, bro. Yeah, pretty good. Flapping and chopping. The chef alchemist. Yuragi, he's gonna pop his BKB, but the AOE doom comes through. We'll trade that any day, little OG. Okay. Taking pretty heavy damage, but he's gonna get healed thanks to the Sunray. Now they can just focus on the buildings if they want. Zai jumps back in with that doom. 
but it's going to be too little, too late for Liquid. Trying to delay this for their PL, but it's 35 seconds away, so certainly OG, despite this Crimson Guard, being applied to the building, she just focused it down. Nisha popped back by the Flame Break. Found the strike coming out from Liquid, but again, this game is over. <laughs> and GG's a final call, so OG take game two, which means we're getting extended to a full three-game series between these two teams. Poor Sheep, she's gonna have to eat all of her words with that offlane performance.